Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, I am doing a bunch of videos back to back, so I'm probably wearing the same thing in several videos. But this video, I'm doing a review on Exquisite Corpse by Poppy Z Bright. This was the March book pick for my book club from Hell Book Club, where we read vintage horror books. And this book came out in 1997. It's 240 pages, so it's a short book. Uh, the average rating is 3.78 on Goodreads. So I'm going to start off by saying that this book is not going to be for everyone. Probably a majority of people won't finish it because <laughs> it gets very graphic. Um... Basically, it's about serial killers, and I've heard people describe it as, like, a serial killer romantic type story, which there are, I don't know about romance, but there's a lot of sex in this book for sure. Um, so, essentially, you have two serial killers. One is this infamous serial killer who ends up escaping from prison in England, I want to say. And he ends up in New Orleans, where the other serial killer is. So, the one from New Orleans, he has a boyfriend. Um, no, no, no. He doesn't have a boyfriend. He ends up meeting with this guy. And he pretty much picks up random dudes from these bars, takes advantage of them, kills them. There is some necrophilia, um, that kind of thing. And he ends up coming across this guy that, I don't know, something is different about him where he doesn't necessarily want to kill this guy. There's just something that he does, you know, so, the one from England, serial killer, ends up coming to New Orleans. They run across each other. I can't say much more. Um, this is set in the 80s when the AIDS and HIV epidemic became a big thing. So, it does play a large part in this book. Which I was surprised because nobody ever mentions that when they talk about this book. It's not mentioned in the Goodreads description synopsis. But it plays a role pretty early on in the book. And it's mentioned quite frequently throughout the book. I... This book is wild in terms of... The language that is used to describe some acts. There are a lot of, um, it's, I, it's hard to <laughs> describe. It's just, it's not going to be for everybody. I gave it a four star. I am very stingy with five stars, so it's got to be, like, top-notch. And there just was something a little bit missing for me. It is unique. I have not read anything like this before. Um, I'm sure there are there's something else out there, I'm sure, that I haven't come across yet. Um, I have heard... From, I didn't know that there was an audiobook, so I can't imagine uh, one of my friends, Melissa, she was listening to it and came across, I believe, the first sex scene. <laughs> I think she was listening at work. So if you listen to the audiobook, you need to have headphones. Just a heads up on that. Um, yeah, I... I'm happy to check this off of my horror, vintage horror, um, reading, required reading. I know a lot of people mention it in the most disturbing book lists. It is disturbing, but I feel like there are worse 
in my opinion, everybody has their line, you know, um, it wasn't quite, I think that inside by Chandler Morrison is worse than this in terms of disturbing things. If you've read that, then you know. So I gave it a four star. I am, I know two other people, Crystal Fiber Artsy and uh, Kelsey from Slime and Slashers. I think they both gave it a five. So people have really have enjoyed this. It's quite different than anything that I've read. So if you can handle the graphic um, sex and murder and all of that and give it a try. <laughs> but yeah, I think you're going to know pretty early on that it's not for you. So if you read it, let me know what you rated it. If you didn't read it or you started to read it, why did you stop? What was that line that the book crossed where you said no more? <laughs> I gotta know. Um, but that's all I got for this book review. Thank you for watching. Our book for From Hell Book Club for next month, April book, is going to be Hell House by Richard Matheson. From what I know, that also has a lot of um, sexual situations, so we <laughs> will see. But I don't think anything is going to be Exquisite Corpse. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.